name is Marimal Mateo. I'm your nursing student for today. I'm going to be completing our tutorial assessment on you today. Is that okay? Yes. I'm closing the door and curtains to provide privacy. I'm washing my hands for 40 to seconds, 60 seconds to prevent the spread of chemo infection. And I'm also putting on my gloves. First, can you go ahead and tell me your first, last name, and date of birth? Yes, it's Maria Hernandez, 5595. Thank you so much. Do you know who you are? The hospital. Do you know what year I'm in? 2020. Do you know who the president is? Trump. Okay, good. You're alert to time, place, and person. First, I'm going to go ahead and start by taking your vital signs, your blood pressure, your temperature, your respirations, and your pulse. I'm going to go ahead and start by taking your pulse. And I'm, check I'm doing them both at the same time to check for symmetry. And they're normal to plus, they're not bounding, which is excellent. And also your blood pressure was within the ranges of less than 120 over 80 or less than 80, which is good. Your temperature was 98.3 and your respirations was within 12 to 20, which is good too. So now I'm going to go ahead and start by assessing your head. And I see that I see, I see no lesions or bumps or lumps or any lies or any scratches. And now I'm going to go ahead and palpate. I feel no lumps or lesions either. It's completely flat and your hair is evenly distributed, which is excellent. Now I'm going to go ahead and move down to your eyes. So your eye, outer path is of your eyes, symmetrical with the pin of your ear. Now I'm going to go ahead and assess cranial nerve 2, 3, 4, and 6. And I'm going to be using a pen light. Just look at my nose straight ahead. And just follow my pen with your eyes, not your head. Okay, good. So I see that your eyes are, your pupils are reactive to light and they accommodate, which is excellent. And now I'm going to go ahead and test cranial nerves 9, 10, and 12. So can you smile for me? Can you stick out your tongue? Move side to side. Excellent. And let me go ahead and take a look at your mucous membranes. So they're wet. Those are your teeth, your permanent teeth. Yes, they're good. Your nostrils, I don't see any bleeding or any discharge, which is good. Can you go ahead and lay back for me? So I'm going to go ahead and put my patient in 45 degree angle. Turn your head that way, please. I'm assessing for JVD distension and there is none, which is excellent. And while I'm here, I'm also going to go ahead and assess the carotid. I'm going to go ahead and palpate one at a time. You can put your head to normal position. Okay, excellent. And I also don't see any tracheal deviation, and you are not in any respiratory distress, which is excellent. And I'm going to go ahead and listen for murmurs with the bell of my stethoscope. Okay, good. So now we're moving from there to the chest. I'm going to be assessing your cardiac, your heart sounds, and your lung sounds. So first I'm going to go ahead and start with your heart sounds. Using a stethoscope, I'm going to go ahead and place my stethoscope in the correct areas. So, aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral, which is the point of maximum impulse. So, I do not hear any murmur, which is turbulent blood flow, and S1 and S2 are present. Can you go ahead and move up for me so I can go ahead and assess? your lung sounds in your back and the front. I'll just go ahead and start with the, the back. It's fine. Oh, sorry. Just take a deep breath for me whenever you feel my butt's scope. Place my scope. Okay, Skin and I see no skin breakdown or any lesions, which is good. Also, I'm going to just go ahead and go take in the front now. Just take a deep breath. So the skin in the front is also there's no skin breakdown. I can go ahead and palpate as well if I want. I'm going to go ahead and 